Hi class, I'm Stephanie. Uh, it's nice to see all of you, even though I've never actually seen any of you. Um, interesting fact, Hawaii is the only U.S. state with two official languages. The first is English and the second is Hawaiian. The language is similar to Tahitian and Maori, and the Hawaiian language is part of the Polynesian subgroup of the Austronesian language family. It is spoken on all of the Hawaiian islands, and up until the 18th century, the language was only an oral language, and it wasn't until Captain Cook, the famous Captain Cook, arrived at the islands that the language started to be written down. However, in the late 1800s, I believe 1898, uh, Hawaii was annexed and became a U.S. territory. And pretty quickly after that, the language was outlawed and it was required for everyone to speak English. They were still allowed to speak Hawaiian at home, but in general, the language of uh, commerce and out in the world was English, so naturally English became the uh, dominant language. This, of course, led to the language becoming um, critically endangered. However, there was a resurgence in the 1970s, and now there is a concerted effort to teach the language to younger generations so that it does not actually become extinct. But the language has eight consonants and five vowels. Now, one of those consonants is called the okina, and it is a glottal stop in the word. So it is similar to what we do in English when we say, uh-oh, uh-oh, Hawaii. Uh, the okina is represented by a reverse apostrophe. It is at the beginning of the word okina. Uh, the okina is found between two vowels or at the beginning of a word. Now the other letters in the Hawaiian alphabet are written and look the exact same as uh, the English alphabet. There are uh, four basic rules in the Hawaiian language. All words end in a vowel. Every consonant is followed by at least one vowel. Every syllable ends in a vowel and two consonants never appear next to each other. So the vowels are the same as in the English language, A-E-I-O-U. Uh, however, they are pronounced differently. So A is pronounced A, E is pronounced E, I is pronounced E, O is still pronounced O, and U is pronounced Ooh. Another grammatical mark that affects the language uh, but is not a consonant, like the okina, uh, is the kahako. Uh, this is the small horizontal line that uh, goes over the vowels that implies that the vowel is longer in pronunciation. So kahako has a kahako above the o at the end, which would make it kahako. So it's just slightly longer in pronunciation. Uh, when Captain Cook arrived on the islands in the 18th century, there were an estimated 600,000 about uh, native Hawaiian speakers. And currently, there are about 1,000. So it went from 600,000 to 1,000. However, there are another estimated 8,000 speakers of the language who are considered fluent and can speak it. However, they are not uh, indigenous native. Uh, Hawaiian speakers, but those who can speak it are working with various language projects to uh, make sure that uh, many of the indigenous languages that are currently in danger of being extinct are passed on to future generations. In the 1980s, Hawaii started creating Hawaiian immersion schools uh, so that uh, children uh, future generations would be immersed in the language when they went to school. However, as we learned from uh, learning about multilingualism in children, uh, is that 
the language that is spoken in the home um, has a greater impact on how the brain forms, obviously, in relation to languages. Uh, but the good news is that with every passing generation that goes to these immersion schools, uh, there's more of a chance of the Hawaiian language once again being spoken in the home and thus preventing it from becoming extinct. Uh, one more thing, there is also another language uh, spoken on the islands and it is called pigeon. However, it is not a pigeon. It is actually a Creole. It is its own separate language and it is a mixture of, you guessed it, English and Hawaiian. Uh, before I leave the English language entirely to teach you some Hawaiian, I want to teach you some of uh, my favorite phrases that I just don't know if I can pantomime well enough to get my point across to you guys. So uh, the first one uh, is kanikapila, which is a musical jam session. Very important to know. Uh, this one would be important if you lived in San Francisco, obviously. Manapua. This is Chinese dim sum, of course. Very handy phrase to know. Uh, Paniolo is naturally a Hawaiian cowboy. You come across a lot of those. And my favorite, my absolute favorite, and the one that there was just no way I was going to be able to teach you without speaking English is Menehune. Uh, this is a legendary race of small people believed to have worked during the night building roads, fish ponds, and temples. Now, I will see you in Hawaiian. Aloha mai. O ieka olelo Hawaii. E lala kea oka ohana olelo Austronesian. E ieke ka himao olelo ma amau au e ike ai maka olelo. O ka mea mua pono oe e ike ina elu apau. Ole e kahi akahi elua e kolu e lima alima e ono e iku. Evalu, avalu, eiva, iva, aiva, um, wa, wa, va, 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 evalu, wa, evalu, evalu. Pono oe, ike ika hua o lelo lo i hiloa o ka o lelo. Humu humu nuku nuku apua. E ia ke ka himao o lelo ao e ike ai. Wahine. Honi. Wiki, wiki, pow, pow. Aole pilikia. Aloha kakaiaka. Ikomo mai. Ikomo mai. Hana ho. Como mai Hana ho I como mai Mahalo 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 nui loa Mahalo nui loa O wa i ko inoa Stephanie Ili o Ilio Toaster Ilio Popoki Popoki Finnegan 
ポポキポポキカラカラウラウラアラニアラニメレメレメレメレおまおまおおまおまおポルポルポルポニポニマナオワウウアアオオエイケカヒメアエレカコアパウイハワイアアオイカオレロマライラアロハ